Hi all, welcome back to more kingdoms. Hal here, and well, we never have, we really have never named this place. Um, I'm sure the planet has a default name, but I think we're just going to call it Haladium. Why? Because we can. <laughs> I'm not egotistical at all. <laughs> oh, so um, let's say we're what in Halsburg on the planet of Haladium. Okay, I like it. <laughs> so. If you remember last time, we were getting some of the town set up and we had a bunch of villagers move in. And as you can see, we've made a bit of progress on getting things built. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to talk to you all about what the houses are, what types of houses are, uh, what the requirements are to build them, as well as some of the skills in the game. Because the one of the things about this game is that almost everything you do has a prerequisite. Um, not only just learning the skill, but in order to unlock certain things, uh, like some of the buildings, you have to have specific skills. Now, the nice thing is, is that if one of the NPCs has a skill that's uh, eligible to build something, they can choose to build it on their own, and then you can contribute to it. And you get, exp you get experience for all of this. You also get experience for doing your own buildings. Um, but what I want to do first is let's t let's take a look at the skills because what we can do is once you have a notice board up, right, you can come in here and go into settler info. And what this will do is it'll show you a list of all the settlers that you have in town. We currently have 20 of them here and each of them are going to have their own skills. Now, the skills that you're looking for are going to be here we'll show you here as you can see oh uh, well is the mouse server going to work or is the mouse server not working again looks like mouse server is not working again <laughs> sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um but what this is telling you is what skills they have like they have digger but not minor uh they've got some basic farming and alchemy they've got no woodworking skills and so basically what you're looking for is if there's a specific skill that you want you need to either take a skill at the beginning um, because if you don't take a skill at the beginning you have to find somebody to teach you well the easiest way to find them is to find folks in a town like this where you have settlers and you find the skill that you want to learn oh they've got full carpentry of course i already have carpentry uh, let's see archery i don't think i have archery though Let's see. Uh, let's take a look and see what skills we have really quick. All right, so we've got, we can do digging, gardener, and herbalist. So we've got all of these. We've got chopper, benchman, scholar, worker, taskmaster, trader, and mine worker. All right, so what we're gonna, oh, I keep forgetting about that. It's inconsistent here, okay. So as you can see, we've got 25 or 20 settlers, 25 houses. We're doing pretty good. Prosperity is poor. Eh, it's okay. So let's go in here. Now, if I had skill points available, what I would be looking for is whatever skill I wanted to learn, um, which I think is going to be blacksmithing next. And this one, wow, that's actually, he's got some great skill. Uh, two things that I, two skills I want to learn. I want to learn novice architect. Master Architect is going to be good as well, but I need Novice is the next one that I need, um, and then any the Blacksmithing. So those are the two skills that I want. Let's see, you're level 16, you're level 10. So this just gives you an idea of how you can find them, and then if you find somebody who has a skill that you want, instead of running around town, just recruit them, and they come over to you. Uh, when they get here, let me see here you have skills that I don't want actually do I have do I have any skill points no I don't I, I have to level up again to get more skill but as soon as I get skill I'm probably going to do blacksmithing so let's see if we can does this guy have it yes he does so if we recruit him and we walk over this way. Ah, her, rather. So you open up the troops menu and you can just remove from troops. 
Are you sure? Yes. And then that way you don't have to you don't have to pay her for coming over to you. I know that sounds really bad, right? <laughs> but what you can do is once you once the person is here, you go and you say, I want to learn a skill. And this will teach and this will show you which skills. So anything that's green is a skill you already have. Anything that blue is a skill that you're eligible to learn. Um if given that you have the points necessary for doing so. So as you can see, I can actually learn both of these skills, which is kind of odd. I would have thought that this one would have been locked until this one was learned. Um, but these are skills that she can teach. So if you don't, if it's red, she can't teach it. If it's blue, it is in order to progress. Hmm, excuse me. Voice is cracking a little bit. It's raining here in uh, California. So it's been, kind of weird my throat's a little torn up from it all so but yeah basically anything that's in blue is stuff that you don't know that she that the person can teach you anything that's in red is something they cannot teach you um so this one can be all the way up to tier the fourth tier skill you can teach traveling blacksmithing I don't have enough points it's going to take five points and basically what it does is it doubles each skill so at level one the first level skill or the first tier skill is five points second tier is 10 third tier is 20 um, fourth tier is 40 and then master would be 80 I believe Let's see if we can I think it's 80 can't resize <laughs> so anyway uh, but yeah that just gives you an idea of how to get the skills and what you need to do in order to get to them so we can get out of there she can go on her way now when you're talking about building and this is the reason why skills are important when you get to the point where you want to build something let's start with the settlement stuff in order to build any of the things to found a settlement you actually have to have a couple of things, right? You need to build the well. This is what establishes your new settlement. It is the, you know, with obvious reason, it is the center of your town. Um, with this, like it says here, you can establish a new settlement. It requires you to have scholar and taskmaster. Uh, you can start the game with these skills, and I did. That's how we built this uh, town. Let me see what my skills are here. So in order to have Scholar, where did Scholar get off to? Right, there you go. So Scholar is a, a, a tier one skill. Taskmaster is not. Taskmaster is tier two, I believe. Oh, I keep doing that. At some point I'm going to change it so it doesn't do that. <laughs> All right, so let's go here really quick because Taskmaster is this one all right so builder taskmaster novice architect and architect so basically yes so it's a tier two skill you start with i want to say 20 points so that gives you a tier two skill and two tier one skills or four tier one skills um, however you wanted to do it i do definitely recommend that if you are planning on trying to build a town you actually want to you want to take woodworking and then um, the rest of the skills woodworking will well the the cutting I think they're chopper that's what you want to take ch chopper is one of the first skills you either want to start with or learn <laughs> because it will save you a great deal of heartache um, it takes a lot to t take down trees in the game it's just a lot of time and having chopper basically you get like, like three times the the wood from the tree and it takes you a fraction of the time to chop it up so in the same amount of time it takes you to fully uh, extract all of the resource from a tree without the chopper skill uh, you can do the you can do and literally do like three or four times the resource gathering so it's really, really nice. So it's definitely worth having. So once you have it though, you can then build the well, you can build the notice board, which is where you manage your, your village and the villagers. 
and you can build a common house. Now, a common house is actually really good to have because what it does is it allows you to bring in more settlers than you have homes. Because what it will do, and this is the common house, when it's, once it's built, there are two entrances, a front and back. All of the windows are actually rendered in game. So when you are inside, you can see out of those windows. And when you're outside, you can see in. So if there were people in there, you'd be able to see them. Um, this is going to be important later on in the game's development because this game does support PvP. Um, it is a it will be a multiplayer based game at some point, um, and each player can be part of a different village, and your entire village can be uh, mobilized basically. So as you can see, you have all sorts of beds up here. Now I don't know what the actual population capacity of this place is. But it's rather ridiculous. Um, even beds down here. <laughs> now, this building does not have any common storage, but it does have the cooking tables, so you can make food. Uh, so if you've been hunting, you'll be able to cook meat here. Um, it'll tell you what you need in order to make it. Unfortunately, there's no vegetarian foods for those who uh, don't want to go out and hunting the animals. But there are things that you can cook. Uh, but there are plants. There, there are things like lettuce and carrots and things like that that you can, you can grow and eat if that is what you choose. Some people I know are into that. Some people aren't. Some people just don't care. You know, it's just it's a lot of different options, and all of the food types offer something a little bit different. Now, in order to build this thing, we've already talked about the skills you need. You have to have the scholar and taskmaster skills, and it takes 15 wood. So if you have the chopper skill, taking down one of the larger trees, you should be able to get pretty much all of the lumber you need for it out of one tree, maybe a little bit more than one tree. Um, if you do not have the chopper skill, it's going to take like three trees. And like I said, it will take a significant amount of time. I think it took about a full in-game day to get all of the lumber to build this thing before I had the chopper skill. It's um, it's really, really brutal. <laughs> all right, so let's get over here. We are going to head over to the small, ta uh, the small houses. So I'm gonna show you what these are. Now, there are small, simple houses, and that would be this one right here. This is a one room house. Everything is in here. You have the bedroom, you have a cooking table. And then if you own the house, this chest is your storage area. Now the storage display in the game in each of the buildings is dynamic. So the more stuff you put into your storage, the more things you will see, the more cluttered your house will be. And each of the houses do, I believe, have different amounts of storage capacity. There's a set number of slots available for them, and the bigger the house, the more you can store. So for this small house, it is this one right here. It's one floor, one room. You only need the worker perk, and it requires five wood. So if you do not take choppers, one tree, you get this, you, and the house is done. It just takes you a while to get the lumber for it. So moving up from that is a wooden house with stone base, or the uh, the actual wooden house, because you have a small wooden, and then the regular wooden. So this is one floor, two rooms. Now, that's kind of a, I don't want to say misdescription, but it is definitely not an accurate one because what they call two rooms, and it looks like somebody took a tree down <laughs> and fell on the house over there. So this is the um, the house, the wood house. So this is two rooms because they put a divider in. <laughs> so this is this is your one, basically your bedroom and eating area, and then again you have the tables. And so what will happen is, is as you put things in here, you'll start seeing uh, like burlap sacks showing up and then it'll be more crates over here and you'll get crates and barrels and things like that in this corner as well um, but as you again as you start filling up your inventory that you'll start cluttering up the house it's actually a really cool system i really really like it and then this one is seven wood i believe yeah seven wood so again if you do not have the chopper skill it's basically a tree to build this place um 
it does take a little bit longer than the first one because you are you are required to harvest two more wood but it's not bad i mean it's pretty cool all right so we go to the larger of well the largest of the simple wood homes this requires only the worker perk it's two floors two rooms basically each floor is its own room and this requires twice the wood this is up to 15 wood in order to build it and then that comes over to i believe it is this one we'll come in here yes this is it all right so again you have your cooking table you have your crates for storage and it looks like there's not really anything being stored in here yet you come up to the second floor and this is your bedroom so you have your your bed up here it's a really nice model the 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 developers of this game, I don't know if they created these resources and assets, but um, whoever created them, they did a really nice job. I really like the detail work in them. Um, the fact that you actually have a door that closes is kind of nice, but I just absolutely love the fact that they took the time to render the windows in like this so that they are actually, everything is rendered in game. You're not entering like a, a its own little um, mini biome or mini zone or anything like that. All right, so that's what you get for 15 wood. Now, if you go over to the, this is the basically the tier two housing. This is when you start getting into the things that are a little bit fancier. You get a wood house with a stone base. It's one floor, one room, requires a higher, the uh, second level skill, which is the taskmaster skill. And this one requires 10 wood. Um, let me see, do we have any of these actually? We have, that's the bigger one. We may not, oh, that, that we don't. No, that's the farmhouse. Uh, I thought I had one. Okay, so that's the regular wood. Let's see here. I think that's the smithy. That's the small smithy, yes. All of the, uh, the houses start blending together after a while. So I don't actually have a small stone house well wood house with stone base i thought i had one huh see learn something new every day okay so what we will do is we will skip that one because we do have the one floor two rooms house i think <laughs> i know we've got the big ones let's see if we've got one of the small ones here those are the trading posts again that is the farmhouse so effectively, let me show you this. This is this is a farmhouse. This is effectively the same as the um, the two room stone base. The difference is, is that the two room stone base, this partition is actually finished. So there's a wall separating them. And as you can see, we've got more stuff in here because this one I actually own. This is mine. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of food in here. So since I've gone ahead and started putting supplies in, it added the barrel, it's added some crates over there. You know, we've got tools over here now, we've got some things on the table, we've got more stuff over here, and it, it will eventually fill up. This one is nice because of the fact that not only does it give you a cooking table, storage, and the bed, it also gives you a work desk. Now, the work desk, you can do all sorts of stuff, and here's where you can make seeds, um, if you have food, you can, huh, you're not supposed to be able to craft food here. This should be just, um, making seeds for here. Come over here and this should be the cooking. And then you have your bed, obviously. To build this, oh, it's actually down here in the farm. So the farmhouse requires 10 wood. You have to have the worker skill and the gardener skill. And you see how I'm talking about when, when I'm talking about the way that all of the skills kind of build on each other. In order for you to progress through, especially if you want to be building all of these different types of houses, you're going to basically need most of the, uh, the things, in, most of the skills in the game. Now see, that one is the, uh, the house that I wanted to show you. But since it's not built, let's go into this house. Because that's the house right there. That's the um, house with stone base that they're building. Actually, that might be the small stone house. Let's find out. 
when you come over to it, it should tell us. Yeah, that's the small stone house. And then the owner, LARPer, is actually, believe it or not, an NPC. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of funny, actually. But it, doesn't it used to tell you the type of house it was. But yes, this is the small stone house. All right. So we will look at the two-level wooden house with stone base. Uh, because I believe I have one of those myself right here. So I, ha I have one of these. This is actual. Um, let's see here. We'll go over here. There we go. So, oh, this is the store. Okay, so it's using the same house model. Um, the difference between this and the house would be that this has got the trading post stuff in here. And as you can see, because there is all of the stuff on the table, that actually means that there's a lot of stuff in here. It doesn't matter what you have in the inventory. Um, as you can see here, it's all swords. There's some armor in there, I believe, arrows all sorts of daggers and such, and then we're all resource that I sold to them. Um, but no matter what you put in here, basically the inventory of the tables fill up. So it's a good way to see what it looks like when you get into some of the dynamics. All right. Okay. And then moving on to the other house. Actually, you know what? That might be... Let me check this one really quick. Because this might be... Yeah, this is one of the stone houses, I believe. Yeah, this is that's one, That's the uh, second stone house. That's the LART, the regular stone house. All right. So the last of the houses that you can build with this particular skill, with the uh, Taskmaster skill, is this one. This is the three level wood house with stone, three floors, three rooms. You need to taskmaster and 30 wood. This took, I want to say three trees with the chopper skill, uh, would take, I believe about five or six trees without the chopper skill. So, and again, I've put some things in the inventory here because this is my house. As you can see, I've got only a couple of things here. Uh, so very low volume. So I've only got a couple of extra crates. We've now have a barrel under here. Um, again, you do have a lot of storage space down here. You come up to the second floor. This is your cooking table. There are two tables here. Uh, there's a bit more storage up here. So if you start overloading your storage, you'll start getting crates and stuff up here. And then the third floor is your bed. And then you have a table that does absolutely nothing. I was really hoping this would be a crafting table or a specialty table of some kind, but it was not, unfortunately. Um, but the nice thing is, is that, as you can see, this is probably one of the nicer homes until you get into the architecture line. Now, when you start getting into the architect line, you get the small stone house, which is the one that's over there. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna do this, we're, we're sleep until sunup because you do have stats and the stats do matter for what you're doing. So, all right, so we are now at sunrise or we should be at sunrise. Check out the window here. Looks like, okay. So what we'll do is we'll go over, we'll actually go take a look at the small stone house, which is this one here. Need to get my stamina up. <sighs> All right, so small stone house. Once you have the novice architect skill, and that's the skill I'm saving points up for right now, uh, you'll be able to build the novice arc or the small stone house, the stone house, the two-story stone house, and then the two-level two stone house. This this one being two floors with three rooms. This one being two floors, two rooms, and a cellar. And then the three level stone house, which is three rooms, three floors and a cellar. So, but it's also 40 wood. This is going to be expensive build. 
Um, but as you can see, it is much nicer than any of the other houses to date. You actually have a bedroom with a fireplace in here. You have another table and uh, bookcases and such. Nice bed to sleep in. But you only get the cooking table and no workshop. So, eh, you know. Actually, I'm wondering where is your storage in here? I'm guessing the chest is the storage box in this one. Since I don't own one, I don't know where what you would use for the storage chest to get into the inventory. So, uh, but we're getting there. We're going to work up to that and hopefully get that here in the near future. I'd like to get that um, by the time we have the next episode, but we'll see how that works. Okay. So then you have, so this is the, okay. So that was the stone house. We don't have a small stone house, but you do get the little, oh, that's right. It's going to be in here. This is going to be your inventory room. This is your storage closet, basically. So when you, when you have your inventory, I believe you access that bag and you'll get the dynamic inventory like you do in all the other houses. Okay. So that's this house, right? Yes. Okay, that's the stone house. We don't have a two level stone house. We definitely don't have the rest of these yet. Um, somebody in town actually has the architect skill. Um, so they've been building larger houses and I've been helping them, but we haven't gotten to the point where they needed to build the really big house yet. So then we move on to the manufactories. These are your crafting houses. So you have things like a small smith, which requires you to have the worker skill, which we do have but it also requires you to have blacksmith apprentice, which we do not have. So we're not going to be able to build this. Um, the Smith requires the tax the second tier builder skill, which is taskmaster, and the second tier blacksmithing skill, which is novice blacksmith. Actually, is that true? I think so. I'll have to check to make sure, but actually we're here anyway. Let's take a look at the skills really quick. Oh, they changed. I keep forgetting they changed it. Oh, uh, see, so they used to have it set up so you could see which skills you had, um, but they they don't do that anymore. So, OK, but I believe this is either the second or third tier uh, smithy skill. So now we do have a woodworker's house. This is basically your carpentry area. There's a stone worker's house, which actually hasn't been implemented yet. The building is here, but it doesn't have any benefit other than giving you a workbench. And then there's the bakery. So we're actually pretty close to the bakery. It's straight ahead of us. Let's go take a look at that house really quick. So uh, yeah, happy Thursday, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic week and enjoying your new year so far. I've been, ha like I said, I've been having a lot of fun. So this is your bakery. You have an oven, which allows you to bake bread. Um, now, when you have, once you have baked bread, you can then use that bread elsewhere to make other types of food. Um, I thought there was other things in here, but it looks like one of the recent updates, they may have removed some of the stuff. Hmm. I'm guessing they removed some of it. Uh, but as you can see, we can't uh, place anything in inventory here. Can I do out here on the front? No. Okay. But uh, the bakery, like I said, it is in game. It has limited functionality. And remember, this is a very early access game. So you're not going to have everything in the game yet. Right now, it's basically just filler. And uh, what they have, though, looks really, really good. And it's, it is surprisingly fun. And hunting bears is, you know, realistically scary. So, <laughs> all right, so let's go take a look at the woodworker's house, which is right over here show you this thing really quick. So you have a little bit of an overhang area, which I think we're going to be able to put uh, workbenches in eventually. Don't quote me on that, but I think that was the, what they were saying is that this is going to be a, an upgrade area. So once you get to the, a certain point, you'll be able to add more utility to some of the, the utility buildings. Now this work desk, is the woodworkers wood uh, work desk so you can make wood planks you can make arrows if you have the archery skills to do so um, you can make better bows so i can make the benchman i can make the short wooden bow i thought i had carpenter 
but I guess not. Um, so I could actually, if you learn carpenter, you can actually make wooden bows as well, but you also can make the leather armors as well as leather from the hide. And it, you'll get different amounts of leather depending on how many skins and what types of skins you are using. So then the house itself does have a bed. Um, but again, it does not have a marked storage area yet uh, because of the fact that, uh, you know, there's no there's no selling in the game. I'm wishing that they did have an inventory on it. I'd be kind of interested to see how dynamic inventory would work on this one. But you do get, you know, a bed, so. <laughs> and then the other manufacturing building, and like I said, this one does not have any functionality implemented yet. It is just a set piece. But eventually you will be able to do your stone working here. So when you go out and you mine stone or resources from inside the ruins, um, any of the subterranean ruins will have stone nodes and ore nodes in them. And when you harvest the stone, you would in theory be able to bring it back here and you know, it'll have a workstation somewhere. I'm guessing this is probably going to be it. Um, where you'll be able to process that into brick and other uh, materials, which I'm assuming will be needed to build any of the, uh, the, the tier two and tier three homes, basically anything requiring novice architect or higher, uh, because you have the stone, the stone foundation buildings. And right now all of the buildings require only wood. So, all right. So then we have shops and taverns. There's a, uh, a small shop, there is the wooden tavern and these are just variations on some of the houses uh, you then have larger shops a large, a regular wood tavern a storehouse and the storehouse is actually you are a merchant I think we have one of these in town because this is the this shop no this is that's the big tavern but this is not the big tavern. This is, I'm thinking this may actually be the storehouse. I'm th uh, that looks like it. Yes. So that's actually the storehouse. Uh, we don't have a regular shop in town and we don't have the big tavern yet. We don't have anybody in town who can actually build this, uh, because it requires a negotiator. Well, I guess actually, if you can build this, you can build that. Interesting. I thought this required the um, the other skill, but okay. The farm stuff you've seen, the windmill is just a set piece. Basically you walk up to it and you process the uh, grains that you harvest from the farm in the windmill. And you then take the flour that that generates over to the bakery and make bread. And then you take that bread and go elsewhere and make other things. So <laughs> it's, um, it's a lot of fun. And then when you're out and about in the wild, you can make a campfire, which requires just two wood. Uh, this is nice because you can roast any of the meat you hunt, but it also provides light and it does provide heat as well. Surprisingly, the game does have environmental survival as, as well as the, uh, the normal health and food. So, and then a tent, which allows you to basically pass time in the outside of town. Um, it gives you a mobile bed basically. So uh, yeah, that is the very, very brief look at the skills and structures. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down in the section below the video. I will do my best to get an answer for you. If I can't get one immediately, I will at least try to find one for you eventually. <laughs> Anyway, if you're new to the channel and haven't done so already, I do ask that you subscribe. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy. And on that note, we are out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a terrific week. And we'll see you back here next time for more Kingdoms. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Now, why? I never figured out why we have two of these. We have two swords. And a smithy. Too bad I don't have the blacksmithing skill. <laughs> Use smelt furnace. Look at all the stuff that you can make here. And all the stuff you can make here. We'll definitely have to touch on this piece next time.